Hey there guys, Fabian Ratzak here. Today I would like to show you the Tone X1 amp kit number three. So this time we're talking about boutique amps. So these boutique amps are really high priced uh, products and they are killer amps and <laughs> many people like them for different reasons. And um, this time we have many great amps like the Dr. Z, the Car Mercury, the Two Rock um, Classic Reverb, the Benson Chimera, the Bartle Roseland and many others. Um, so without further ado, uh, one thing I will mention um, this time I used the input at a fixed stage around 5.4 because uh, for my Les Paul that suits it uh, the best. What I will do when I switch guitars, um, I will increase the input of the interface itself just a tiny bit, just a very tiny bit. So uh, we're compensated with different pickups like the Stratocaster or the Telecaster I will use. Um, I will not use every guitar on every sound, but some, somehow it might be interesting to see how this amp reacts to different guitars. So without further ado, let's start right away. I imported them here, made a folder, Tonix 1 amp kit number 3, and I'm going to start with a Battle Roseland. Um, which is a really, really nice amp, um, by the way. So let's start with the crunch balance settings. Um, one other thing I should mention, uh, my studio environment is very noisy because of all the electronics. And so if you hear any ditches or any digital noise happening, uh, I can shut it off immediately with the noise gate. So don't wonder why I put the noise gate so high, because um, otherwise it will be loud and not too much um, you would like to hear. So without further ado, let's start with a Battle Roseland. <laughs> Let's see how it reacts with the volume knob. Oh, that's really nice because you see it reacts really fantastic to the volume pot. I like that tone a lot. It's uh, it's a great tone. Something really special happening there. You can hear the boutique tone in itself, and I like the fact that it really cleans up nicely. Uh, listen again. This is full up. Now I roll it down even more. The same on the neck pickup, full up at first. Get it down a bit, or even a lot. A bit more. a thick tone but also it has some nice really really nice high-end sparkle it's very clear it's definitely a great great sound so let's keep going on with a clean capture all right let's start with the neck pickup first position. That's nice. Very some kind of acoustic vibe going on there. I think in, um, in my ears it sounds a little bit some acoustic elements uh, 
um, are coming through there uh, and I like it it's 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 really nice um, all right so let's switch to the strat and we're gonna choose the next stand which is the Benson Chimera. Edged, balanced, so at first, the noise gate up, the interface a little bit up. All right, so let's check the Benson Chimera. <coughs> Sounds nice. Uh, the Benz Camera is a great amp. So let's try this one, maybe with the Telecaster. Because I hear some vibes going on there. That's a great capture. Um, let's go to the Benson Camera Crunch. So first the noise gate as always. Turn it up and let's see. Since we are on the Telecaster, let's hear the <laughs> sound but I would love to hear this with my trusty Les Paul so let's hear how this will turn out and if you don't mind I would look like to use a little bit of reverb but at first let's try this dry <laughs> all right let's get in some reverb just some room. Nice. Let's start with the neck pickup. That's a nice tone. On every guitar it sounded very balanced and uh, very characteristic for it. So, the next one. Let's stay with the Les Paul. And right now there is the Carmacri 5. I remember demoing this one and I really liked it. And I especially liked it with the Stratocaster. But at first we will do the Les Paul. And um, let's keep the reverb on because it's a lead patch. At least it's called this way, so why don't, no, I'm sorry, the noise has to stop. Better. And without any reverb for it. That's a nice tone. 
but let's go head and on the reverb a little bit. Nice. Right, so let's take the strat. And also I have to mention, normally in the strat, when you put in the middle position, uh, the in-between sounds, you normally get no hum. This guitar is a little bit different. On this pickup, there is a little bit of hum. On the others, not. It's a special treatment, but I like the tone. So let's check it out in the in-between position first. <laughs> Definitely from this time, my favorite lead patch from this package so far. I, I really love it. The Car Mercury has a special thing going on. Let's try the, uh, the P-Dime Bright. We start um, with a Strat. Oh, before I should put in the noise gate. I always forget about all right. That's a great tone. So the, the Car Mercury is definitely uh, a Strat favorite, at least for my opinion. It, it sounds so nice. Let's also try the Les Paul, just to make sure I'm missing something. All right, let's go to the bridge pickup. Same as before. Um, the dime patch. <laughs> Definitely killer amp, guys. That sounds great. All right, the next one is the Dr. Z. Oh, the Dr. Z, I'm always thinking in my head, I need a Telecaster. For this, I will use my Telecaster. It's one of those country amps, I think, favorite for some. <coughs> Great sound, love it, with, with, with Telly it's awesome. So let's try the crunch balanced. Again, the noise, noise gate, a bit more higher. 
Ah, a little bit more beef. Great, that's a great tone. <laughs> the Dr. Z is it's a very clear top end. It's very, very nice feeling also. And I can imagine, I'm not a country player, so sorry guys, but I can imagine that um, many people who play this style of music with Telecaster, the clean or a little bit of crunch, a little bit more of breakup. This would be the perfect match in my opinion. So let's keep going on. Next one is the Jackson Amp Works. We start with a Les Paul. First the dime to one. Let's see what's gonna wait for us. It's a little bit of noise gate again. <laughs> It's a very dynamic amp. I like this. Sounds great. Let's try the Jack Brit 2 because there, I think there are two different input stages or something like this. Ah, it's a little bit more. Guys, let's increase the verb a little bit. So I like to hear some. All right. Sounds great. Let's try it with a Stratocaster. Stratocaster, not Stratocaster. All right. Let's the gain a little bit. Start with a neck pickup. <laughs> Sorry, the Jackson amp works. One of the, my favorite tones with a with a Stratocaster, I have to say, it's, it sounds so nice. <laughs> Everything is right there as you need it. There's enough high end. There's enough mids. There's good bass, amount of bass. That's definitely um, an amp you should uh, keep an eye open on it. That's. Let's keep going on. The Comet Viama. This is a very, very high priced amp, I think. And many people use this. Um, let's try it at first with a strut. It's something really acoustically like uh, the other one, like the Bart Bartha Roseland.
I like it. I like this acoustic character. Great. Let's try the crunched balanced. Again, the noise gate, tiny little bit up more. Let's add some reverb, please. Yes, sir. It's very touch uh, responsible. That's that's great. I like this when when an amp is uh, very dynamic. So, but I would like to hear how this baby sounds with this amp. <laughs> Switch the reverb off, off for a second. Very nice. Cleans up fantastically. So this is cool. All right. The next one. I'm really curious how this sounds because this is a matchless Phoenix, very prominent amp. So let's find out. Let's increase this. This is the Phoenix Clean Fat. Give it a little bit of, sorry, I forgot to put in the noise gate and a little bit of reverb. And let's find out. <laughs> Great, great, this is awesome. All right, so the next in the vein we have, at first we need, oh, we need definitely the noise gate. Oh, this has a lot of, ah, okay, now we get it. Uh, this is the Matchless Phoenix Crunch, balance the eye. Start with a, a neck pickup. I forgot to put in the noise gate, that's why now we're talking. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. 
killer sounding amp. Let's try with a Telecaster. Right, crunch. vocal kind of uh, quality at least that's what I'm what I'm hearing pretty much enjoy this amp a lot so the next one is the let's see I'm sorry I lost track the Swart ATS crunch All right I don't know what to expect uh, we're gonna find out right let's do the rest Paul growl to it that's pretty nice let's try the first put the noise gate in the swart ats dimed fat that sounds like oh fuzzy okay <laughs> Farty, very nice, thick and round, but I think this one will work really nice with my trusty strap. Right. <laughs> Uh, sounds a little bit um, not my favorite kind of tone I I have to agree or not agree but I have to say uh, it sounds a little bit um, very yeah some dirty messy punky attitude it's it's great it's a great sound for sure oh the next one is the Tone King Imperial now it gets interesting because it's uh, I made a demo little bit Mark Knopfler style and um, the Tone King is, is absolutely clean monster so let's try I'm sorry let's get put in ah it's it's but it's dimed okay okay it's dimed it's not clean so it will sound a little bit distorted <laughs> a great sound so the next one is bright a little bit higher in gain I think so for this one I will definitely 
use my trusty last ball. Let's see what this baby can do. Nice gate first, guys. Okay. Right. Right and right. <laughs> Killer lead tone, so let's do some reverb because it's always nice to play a little bit of reverb. So a nice, 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 nice tone. Really great. So the next one, oh, we have another Tone King Imperial here. So this is basically um, edged balanced. I think this one is nice for the strut. <laughs> ah, okay, now we're talking. But, ice gate. Right, so reverb. That's one of the best tones you can get with a with a strat clean is definitely the Tone King Imperial. I, I really dig this one. Really dig it. Alright. So I almost forgot one amp in particular. And this was the next one. Ah here, the Morgan AC20, edge balanced. So Edge Balance Morgan AC20. I would like to use actually my Telecaster because I'm a huge John Josh Smith fan. I know he plays that amp for a reason. Not that I can play stuff like him, but try to do something. Okay. Boom. Yay. Edge Balance. Killer, killer, I love it. It's actually, it sounds a little bit like a Vox, in my opinion, but a little bit more tweaked, a little bit more balanced, not too fizzy, always the right frequencies. Uh, let's try this bad boy with my Les Paul.
killer amp. So for the last amp, we have the two rock. Oh, that's nice. Edge balance. For the two rock classic clean, I would like to use Strat Stratocaster. Because I remember this one was really, really nice. First, without any reverb. Definitely need some reverb, guys. Nobody plays bone dry with a clean tone anyway. Just a tiny bit. At least not. Uh, all right. clean balanced all right nice gate again don't think we need this with clean tone but we do it anyway and some paper nice let's do some room oh that's a little bit too much sorry So the time maybe less. Amp. But I think this could also work really nice with a Les Paul playing some nice chords. All right. Also, also very, very great, great sounding amp. Ah, so much fun. This was really killing. Carlis, thank you so much for these, these really uh, awesome amps like the Comet, like the Morgan AC20, like the Dr. Z. Matchless Phoenix was also brilliant. It's actually killer amps, guys. Um, you definitely should get this one because um, we are we as guitar players so we as guitar players of course we we love the, the standard ones like the marshals the, the fenders they're all fantastic they are in our ears but these stood out in a different way because um, not they are only called boutique they are boutique and they sound a little bit different they have different characteristics and they are so so inspiring to play because it's it's really there are some more bass, some more highs, different frequencies, some acoustic elements in it, some really killer stuff you can use. And um, so, whew, 
nice stuff, nice stuff. Uh, Amalgam Audio is making us uh, poor with all these <laughs> great captures, but it's actually a library of killer sounding amps and captures. So I, I think you should get this definitely, by the way. So also don't forget you get the different IRs also. Um, maybe we can do something like this. So maybe let's try, uh, let's try, let's see. Um, I really love the, oh, let's do the Dr. Z crunched, crunch. And maybe let's chase some, some IRs. Let's get some room here. <laughs> Let's try a different IR maybe. So this is the matchless cap uh, by the Carl Macri cap. so great because you can of course you can also uh, um, make it without this is horrible guys just just for fun um, let's do another amp let's do maybe um, oh, whatever let's do the tonking imperial diamond noise gate as always we need this here oh no let's let's do for we already have a crunch tone let's do the tonking uh, the Traditional one, I think this is great. Um, some reverb. Ah, sorry, this is a noise gate. <laughs> oh man, it's great. And let's change caps. So this is the the cap you get with it. Let's do the neck pickup. Switch to the Carmackery. Fender. To the Marshall. Strike some chords. Hi, what? Orange. Fender. So some of them are really subtle, some of them are totally mind-changing while thinking you already put in another amp. So this is awesome and great, great fun and facility. So the DI captures, guys, I can only suggest get the DI versions because you are more flexible. And like me, I'm using this in a band with a class D power amp with a real cabinet. So I don't need actually any IRs, but when recording it comes so handy because every time you have different mix situations, you deal with other stuff. And um, that's so much more, so much more fun. And uh, yeah, so that was the boutique section. So basically the Tonix One M kit number three and be excited for number four. This will be very, very, very nice because it will feature the character amps. So amps that have a very unique character and are known for. I can't tell you too much about it. You will see it in a, maybe in a week or something like this. Until then, enjoy the boutique section and um, enjoy playing, enjoy life in general. Um, be always open to new tones always try with the different guitars sometimes you see a name over an amp and you think oh and you look at it and you think mm, that's not my cup of tea i was this one this guy also but i changed totally my mind when uh, uh, i had all the other amalgam audio amps and at first i thought okay what's this kind of crap the sound like but <laughs> actually this they become one of my favorite tones so there you have it guys um, 
it's been a pleasure to do this demo to check out all the tones you can create and um, if you like what you see you would help me and uh, also Carlis uh, with subscribing to the channel please pr uh, press the little like button there and share the hell out of it if you want and until then enjoy playing and see you next time bye bye